everything changes when you come to christ i was like wait a minute what like looking back i packed the tiniest bikini now i was starting to think about like my future husband i used to hate this topic and not want to talk about it at all but the lord has done work and it's amazing and so i want to tell you about it and i want to start off by saying just the purpose of this video is to encourage so this is not meant to condemn anyone even if you're listening and you're not a christian and you're just like curious this is just like me giving you scripture behind what i'm saying and like my story so obviously not to condemn you i'll give you also the definition of conviction just in case like that's a feeling that comes across you or like just so we can have the like the two condemnation and conviction conviction is godly like that can be prompted by the holy spirit and make you change your ways in a way that will honor god more so that's not necessarily like a it's not a bad thing so this is going to be a very chatty video i would suggest like get your stuff get your stuff because we're gonna sit down for a little bit i honestly don't remember what year i came to christ if i look through my camera roll maybe i could tell but like i think eighth grade or ninth grade at the beginning when you become a christian it's a lot and it's like you've wrestled with god probably for an amount of time before you've come to christ so it's just like everything is fresh maybe you're like really overwhelmed by the bible and how big it is and how much everything is and how overwhelming it all is so modesty wasn't on my mind when i came to christ really like being that like the concept of being godly was not really on my mind like when i came i'm gonna i'm like i'm saying like in every single sentence and it's really bothering me um the concept of being godly or living a godly life wasn't something that was in my mind when I first came to Christ. Even after I became a Christian, I still seemed worldly because I just hadn't spent a ton of time in the Word of God, like soaking it all in, in community. Like it, I think this whole process of um, conviction really in anything and growth takes time when it comes to the Word of God um, because you just need to soak it in and let the Spirit work. And you, obviously that's not going to happen if you're still partying, if you're still doing all of these things that you like, you know are not godly when you first become a Christian. Like it takes diligence and you seeking out God, but like over time he will reveal himself. And over time, like with the right community, with the right people around you, with the right church, like you will grow in Christ. And it's so amazing because it's all like his doing. Um, so it's not really stressful at all. Some obstacles um, for me dressing modestly was like, first of all, I was desensitized to what was modest and what wasn't because of the world we live in. The world has come so far from modest dressing. I don't even know if there was a time, I guess there was a time when like women dress more modestly, but we're at a time where like you can go to the beach in a bikini where your whole butt is out. Like it's just a string. Um, and like that's not to shame anyone but like to me that's like a lot of your body and with that being one of the extremes that was in my mind like wearing a bikini that was like and this isn't all about bikinis but this is just an example that I'm thinking of like wearing a bikini that like is maybe like a cheeky style or like a hipster style doesn't seem like crazy when in reality like looking at it through like god's eyes this is your body like and i just and bikini versus one piece versus whatever that's a whole other video whole other conversation i'm not saying like you can't wear bikinis if you're a christian and i'm not going to be angry if you do like it's not about that the point i'm trying to make is the desensitization the is that the right word i don't know desensitivity maybe i don't know about how we view our bodies and what is so much of our bodies to be revealed. I went on a missions trip and I remember like looking back, I packed the tiniest bikini, but I just didn't know that it was so little. Like I thought that, oh, that's fine, that's fine. But you just don't know sometimes when you're wearing things and they're immodest, you just don't know. Or like people might point it out and you're gonna, you're like, what? That's not even bad. Like, but it is, and just, you can't tell cause what you've been accustomed to, which is like, it's not your fault. It's not about like, I'm not, blaming anyone i'm not like hating on myself for not knowing that it's just that you need good community around you to point that out um so that was one of the obstacles like i just had no idea like 
what was modest and what wasn't. I just had no, there was no scale for me. There was absolutely no scale. And so it just kind of seemed like really difficult trying to attain that because I was like, I don't even know. Um, and it's like a whole shift for a lot of us when we become a Christian, let alone like changing your wardrobe um, and slightly like changing the type of clothes you wear um, and all these little habits, like it's a lot at once. And so obviously like finding modest clothes was hard, partly because it's hard to find modest clothes because when you want to find something that's modest it's kind of like that's your style that's going to be your style like the modest style is going to be your style and i guess some some of it is coming back a little bit and like you can really get around with turtlenecks and like now i have a pretty established style i feel like which i'm excited to share with you in the next video but it was really hard finding clothes that i felt like fit my petite body and were modest to what I could even tell was modest at the time. And then there's also like a lot of insecurity because sometimes a lot of our confidence can come in our body and how we look and our shape and whatever. And so when you're dressing modestly, you take kind of some of that away. And like being so like skinny, I love to like try to, this is like weird to say, but I love to try to like show off my butt because I, I felt like, Oh, I have a nice cute butt and like even if I'm really skinny like I still have a nice butt so like that made me feel more confident about myself anyways so there was that and so with all of these obstacles I felt like my heart was a little bit hardened towards modesty and I was just it was something that I maybe like tried and peeked at and saw okay what is the possibility with that what do I need to do and then it was just kind of like I put it away I just put it in another compartment of my brain it was just not a thing I was thinking about it was not something we we're gonna work on um during my earlier stages of like being a Christian and by that I mean like first two to three years like I was like okay well I don't know what we can do and um I made a lot of excuses for myself but um at the beginning those were the main obstacles so then fast forward maybe two years ago one of my best friends boyfriend it was just really passionate about modesty and like before they were even dating he was really passionate about modesty um and like hearing it come from a guy that like he really valued modesty and he was like he was kind of like trying to give me tips on like what would be cute and stuff like that honestly was like really eye-opening he did it to me in like a very gentle way or like just opened it up in conversation which was good and it was really, 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 really crazy hearing a guy talk about that. As a girl who maybe wanted a guy's attention, you would think like the way to get that is by showing your body. Um, and it's just like your whole, everything changes when you come to Christ and it's so beautiful. Um, but one of the things is like the boys that you're trying to attract, like you're no longer trying to attract a worldly guy. Like you're trying to attract like a church boy. Okay. And like more than a church boy, someone who loves the Lord. And so that takes like a whole different, like church boys, like men who love the Lord love modest outfits. And like hearing him talk about stuff like that, I was like, wait a minute, what? Like and so those type of conversations that I've been ha I had like with that community, with my community, m like kind of the modesty that I kind of like thrown to the side was like, oh, okay, let's revisit this. What do we need to do? Like, I really want to glorify God. And that's like a big, big thing um, is like, you want to glorify God. Like modesty can seem like a chore and there is like a disciplinary aspect to it where like, Maybe you want to show off your body or wear this cute thing, or maybe it's easier to do this. But like, what is glorifying to God? What is pleasing to God? Because if you take a couple steps back and try to look at the bigger picture, we're not trying to go for convenience. We're not trying to look for like the world. We're not trying to gratify our flesh. We're trying to glorify God. Like that is why we are here. So with that like in mind, we want to like glorify God with the way that we present ourselves and the way that we dress. Sometimes we don't really know where to start with modesty, but like we just need to go to him. And like this conversation was really important in my modesty journey, but what was more important was me bringing it to God. Like you can't just like living, walking as a, walking with God is not listening and having conversations with people 
and then letting that transform your life. It's filtering all of the conversations you have through the Bible, through the Holy Spirit, through discernment, and through going to God. So like, it's, it's so important that when you have conversations, and even through this video, you can be like, okay, great, like Naima said this, but let me just go to God and let's see like personally what we figure out and like what I'm prompted to do and what the word of God says, obviously. And really in anything, like I think the key is humility. And so when you're talking to someone, like putting your pride aside and just being able to listen without like wanting to respond in anger or without anything is so important and it is something godly like humility is so important um when seeking out like modesty or like because really humility is what's going to bring you to go to god and be like god what do i do like i don't know i just don't know and then like after conversations like that and after being more prompted by the spirit the next thing for me was like seeking it out like okay let's see like what are we what are we going to do here and I think it's important to reference um, 1 Corinthians 6, 12 through 20. And that talks a lot about sexual immorality, but it also plays it also places a big emphasis on um, your body and how your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. And that's like an important aspect. So like when I was seeking out this topic and what the Lord wanted it for me with this topic and why I was like trying to look for things was like, oh, Naima, like your body is precious. Like God literally made your body. And just like be godly because there's also like in the back of my mind, like now I was starting to think about like my future husband and like, oh, would my future husband want me wearing that? Like, cause that's the thing you also, when you're talking about modesty, you have to talk about glorifying God right and how god like created your body and how that's precious and it's a temple of the holy spirit um and then also like another lens is going to be like your future spouse your, everything you do is not because of your future spouse and we don't want to idolize marriage but it is something to think about that like your body is meant to be one with one other person and that one other person is going to see things not like everyone else and their mother like should not be seeing things it's like your future spouse and so with that being said like that also helped me to kind of frame it and be like oh wow like i want to save this for someone not for everyone but for someone um so yeah and then also like my convictions continue to grow and grow as my walk with god did and as more conversations happened and like i would begin feeling uncomfortable in certain outfits like even maybe i did have a conviction and then i like ignored it and then i went to school and i and i just felt gross i felt like no i want to go home and change i don't feel good i just don't feel good and um it's important that you really know like the difference between condemnation and conviction because there is grace um and obviously you don't want to be ignoring convictions like left and right but like if you have a conviction and you ignore it like god doesn't want you to run away and be like god i know you hate me but no 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 just get back into it you wore this like just don't wear it again it is that deep but at the same time you're not you're not done. As a Christian, like you kind of are being watched because you put yourself out there as a representative of Christ. And so you need to make sure you're representing God well. And it just, it's really not a good look for someone that is very out with their faith and claiming to be a Christian, but then wears like the shorts that show your butt or wears like the tight, tight, tight everything. Again, I'm not trying to put out judgment, but it's just like when you do that, you're not being consistent with the word of god and what he desires for you and again there's grace and like i'd love to make a video just like even talking about how to like what is a godly way to correct your sister in christ about this um or like how do you have conversations respectfully about modesty without judging people because it is a process of grace and sanctification and it's something very personal god is so patient with us but they are conversations and things that need to be happened and corrections that should be made um the thing about modesty is that a lot of it is personal conviction so i guess i'll tell you like some of some of my convictions that i have um and that like i've prayed about so 